Well, we're going on month number two now of working from home, and I won't lie to you, I'm getting pretty antsy. I miss all my friends and colleagues at the CBS 19 studios, and I'm craving just the slightest bit of normalcy. And although I'm able to put together shows from my living room home studio here, I won't lie to you, it's been a challenge. It's been difficult. It's been hard at times. But if I think this is hard, imagine how difficult it would be growing up in three different countries, learning the game of basketball, coming to the United States, and then excelling at the collegiate level. Well, for TJC men's basketball standout Malik Lawrence Anderson, that's been his road, the one less traveled by, and he's excelled. Weekend sports anchor Tina Wynn has the story. When the opportunity arises to make a dream come true, Malik Lawrence Anderson isn't afraid to take the leap. In fact, the sophomore forward has moved six times in his life, living in three different countries. I started off my life in England, then I went to Jamaica, then I went to New York, then I went back to England, then to Florida, and then to Tyler. Kingston, Jamaica is where Malik truly calls home. In search for better opportunities, his mother resides in England and his father in the United States. Malik grew up with his grandparents. For me, I'd say it was different, more of a traditional, like back in the days, my, my grandparents were more disciplined and they taught me the right ways to do stuff. Grandma really taught me like manners and stuff like that. Both of them taught me manners and my grandpa was more like the academic side, he was always telling me it's always to do my work. And if I didn't do my work, I wasn't gonna do anything else. It was the basketball court that brought his parents together. And it was how Malik found the game, by watching his father play. Though he credits his grandmother for helping him fall in love with it. My grandpa never used to let me watch TV on like school days. And so the only time I got to watch TV on school days was with my grandma, like at night times. And at night times she was watching all the games. Uh, my grandma liked LeBron James, and then so she was watching Cleveland, and I remember one game, he had like a chase down block, and then he had another chase down block, and then after that, I was like, Grandma, I think I want to play this, and then I called my dad, who was in America, and I was like, how, how do I start to play this? Inspired by NBA players like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James, Malik was determined to make it to the United States to pursue his basketball dreams. At age 15, he moved to New York City. New York, like, because that's the first time coming to actually live and go to school. It was, I was nervous, but people, all, everybody came up to talk to me. Like the whole school knew about it. They would always ask me to talk, talk for them and hear my accent. And it was just nice. So I fit in it real quick. Adaptability is what Malik prides himself on. With stops made in New York and Florida, it was time to add Texas to the list, specifically a spot on the TJC basketball roster. Yeah, Malik's a, a world traveler. He's, uh, he's been in Florida, he was in New York for a while. Uh, he comes from a great family. Um, he started out in Jamaica and he's still got family back there. And, uh, and so he's bounced around a little bit and seen it had a lot more lifetime experiences than some of our kids get. And because he's such a smart human being and a good person that uh, you really want to root for him. Some may see basketball as just a game, but for Malik, it's brought him opportunity, hope, and a family in America. It would be a lot of opportunity because like, there's just so much to do here, like all, through all different lanes, like business-wise, sports-wise, entertainment, different, even YouTube, all types of stuff. You have different opportunities compared to like a small country where you don't have that many jobs and the jobs aren't like good paying jobs. You have a better chance to make it. For CBS 19 Sports, I'm Tina Wynn.